What's up fellow Clashers, it's Apollyon here coming to you with kind of a war recap. We're not going to do the same type of war re recap because WHF2 went against an engineered clan. They had tons of 11s, 10.5s, 10s, 9.5s, um, and a few 9s against our lot less. So we did come out the victor. I'm going to go ahead and show real quick our, instead of doing the six pack shout out, Let's just scroll up and see you guys can pause it and see who got the six packs and all that kind of good stuff. So there you go. Shout out to everybody that did. And uh, yeah, we're not going to really show what they did. But um, you guys can see, you know, just going through real quick. Um, one, two, three, four, um, elevens, five elevens. That's a 10.5. So there's a, here's another 10.5. Here's another 10.5. And now we're getting into the, 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 the 10s. And I think we go back to a, a, a 10.5 in a little bit, if I'm not mistaken, or at least that kind. Yeah, there we go. So like I said, an engineer clan. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at a couple cool attacks. We're going to look at some 10v10s. We're going to look at um, uh, 9, do 9.5 and 9s versus 10s with true 10. So let's check out this one first. And we'll look at uh, Henny taking out this, a 10v10 with a Go, I think Go Bow La Lune, or it just might just be a Go, uh, or a Go La Lune, or a Go Bow Lune. One of those things, because we got the two golems down. I just don't know what's in the clan castle. We're using a. Um, a stone entrance using three golems and uh, we haven't dropped that third one down just yet but it'll be going down real soon there goes the wall breakers they get eaten up by the tesla the tesla reroutes and uh, i think we have two three more wall breakers that we can throw in there we go so everything's going in there just like we planned really nice funneling um that funnel is just completely and very nice jump to connecting all the chambers and uh, they're going to be able to go ahead and take out the queen and the uh, clan castle here. And I think we've got, so it's a go, go bow loon. So no no lava hounds in here. I think we're planning on getting all four air defenses with this uh, um, the kill squad. So we'll see if we do that. It doesn't look like it's going so good so far. Um, but uh, we've got the queen that still needs to take this jump reroute in here. And she should be able to get at least one more of the, that AD. And possibly the Inferno Tower with this uh, ray or this. Um, yeah. So we've got one AD left it looks like. And we've already started to send in the loons. We do have a full golem with bowlers behind it, which are going to be able to make their way through. And oh, did I miss what took out that? Uh, I guess there was something that took out that um, that air defense. Maybe the queen got it on her last breath or something. I don't know. But we've got all the ADs down. And uh, there we go with the loons just coming in, crushing this. They just need to take out that expo, which they will do right here. And uh, then we've got all those bowlers and everything coming out. So you guys can pause it and see what took it out. I don't know. But very nice attack. Let's jump down one to another 10v10. Just because I don't get the chance to show them as often. We don't usually. I don't know why. This isn't even a 10v10. This is a 10v10.5. It does not have the eagle art, art, artillery. Um, and what does it have? One, two. Yeah, so it's got three expos. I don't. They're definitely not max inferno towers. So it, it is like a 10.5 or a 10.25 or whatever you want to call it. Um, with a low level heroes, low level warden. But it's still a, a challenge, right? Um, so we've got a queen walk going in here with it looks like just about mass miners. Uh, very spread out base for that. And uh, we've got bowlers just doing tons of funneling. The queen will do her walk and I think take out the enemy queen and uh, enemy king. And then we're going to let these miners come in and basically clear out the rest of the stuff. So let's fast forward it a little bit here. And watch as she, she takes out the king and queen. We've got wall breakers coming in to get into that compartment. Then we've got the king tanking. Um, 
being able to grab that clan castle, which is fantastic. The minions are a little bit difficult. We could have dropped the poison down a while ago, uh, but uh, they're not gonna. That lava hound's gonna do nothing to those miners. Queen still has her ability. Um, I don't think he's gonna be able to reach that inferno tower, unfortunately. So. Um, if she ever does step in there for it, she's it's a very smart queen this time, just walking out of that infernal range and tanking those uh, um, archer tower. Let's go ahead and just see what she does. So she is basically staying away from that inferno tower as much as possible, which is just fantastic. And uh, we've got the rest of the miners coming in here, and that is it with that inferno tower standing. The MVP queen. Um, all right, let's just look at a few more. And let's uh, okay. So this is the best attack of the war. We've got uh, Town Hall Nine taking on a true Town Hall Ten, not a max Town Hall Ten, but a Town Hall Ten with uh, a level two Inferno and a level one Inferno and three Expos, albeit not max Expos. So, like I said, not a max um, base here but still a very, very nice one nonetheless. So we've got a queen walk coming in, and the queen walk I think was intended to go from noon down to three, but ends up going from noon to nine o'clock, but uh, no big deal, because we've still got everything going the way we want it to. Taking out some of that splash damage, doing the queen walk, gobo la loon, I think. And we've got the dragon funneling, taking care of business here. Queen is going to start walking up, takes a very partial clan castle, and then we've got the rest of this um, phase coming in with a golem on the bottom, and uh, the wizard's backing it up to start taking care of that funnel. We'll drop the king in here, I think, in just a second, right around that 2 o'clock mark. We, we want everything to jump into that 2 o'clock compartment and get the expo and inferno tower. So there we go with the king that's going to start doing his thing and the bowlers also as well. Just making their way, doing the funneling work and trying to get into that core. There's the drop. So they're going to get the enemy queen, the expo, and the inferno tower, which is fantastic. And if they get that uh, air defense, it's icing on the cake. Um, we're going to use a rage and king ability at the same time to push through. They take out the queen. Uh, rage bowlers will just come in here and wreck everything and uh, start... Uh, taking care of all these defenses they're gonna die to that um, uh, giant bomb but that's just fine we'll go ahead and fast forward here as we've got the lava hounds deployed and we're just using a perfect haste in there to get to that inferno tower and expo um, you know th this is not an easy hit whatsoever to go ahead and take out a, a true town hall 10 base so really really nicely done um let's i think we're gonna look at one more and i think that is this the one yeah okay so this is the one because again the 9.5 it's got no inferno towers it's town hall 10 in skin alone but i think dropped an extra archer tower and uh just you know whatever so we've got uh we've got wizards with golems funneling we've i think we got another gobo la loon which is just an extremely powerful attack we're, we we haven't finished the funneling yet but we're dropping those those jumps in there because i think we've got enough funneling done to get the king queen and bowlers in uh, that wizard tower is a little bit annoying. They're going to have to take care of it at some point. But we've got the, the enemy queen drawing everything in there with poison. And we've got a weird clan castle of three um, uh, loons and a baby dragon in there, which is really not going to do too much to this uh, clan castle. Or I'm sorry, to this kill squad. So we've got uh, almost everything going in. We've got two air defenses left. So we're starting our La Loon portion of this. We've got two hastes, and I think that's it to push through this those max Tesla farms. So again, just a, not the simplest base to take care of. So um, we still have some of the kill squad going through. Queen does not have her ability anymore, but she's taking out everything she can. And if she can get that uh, sweeper even better, there we go. And we have no more air defenses left, so it's just about making their way around this base. No more hounds tanking, and no more spells left. Two, um, hound, two loons left over. Really nice placement to, to go ahead and distract that uh, wizard tower, so it only targeted those two uh, loons instead of everything else. But a really, really nice hit. So 
you know, a lot of people complain about engineered clans. I mean, I'm not a big fan of them, but uh, I really like to when we go against them because it allows us to hit uh, bases that we normally wouldn't get the chance to, and uh, gives practice on like 9.5s and 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 tens, lower tens, and uh, you know, 10.5s for some of our town hall tens, just to go ahead and get that down. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Go ahead, like, subscribe if you haven't already. Share with your clan mates if you guys enjoy these uh, attacks and you benefit benefit from you sure they will as well so go ahead use those friendly challenges to your benefit go practice 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 to get those six star clan wars and uh, keep refining those three star attacks